Sevgili seyirciler, yine güzel bir günde, güzel bir programla birlikteyiz. Lefke Avrupa Üniversitesi 37 farklı ülkeden gelen öğrencilere eğitim vermektedir. 37 farklı ülke demek, 37 farklı kültür, örf ve adet demektir. İşte bu kültür çeşitliliği üniversitemizi ve Lefke yöresini zenginleştiren önemli bir oluşumu yaratmıştır. Üniversitemiz her zaman farklı ülkelerden gelen bu öğrencilere önem vermekte, kültürlerini tanımakla birlikte özel günlerini de diğer öğrenci arkadaşlarıyla paylaşmak maksadıyla çeşitli program yapmalarını teşvik etmektedir. Bunun yanı sıra hedefimiz böylesi güzel programlarla öğrencilerimizin kültür, örf, adetlerini ve özel günlerini tüm Kıbrıs'a tanıtmak. 16 Aralık Kazakistan Cumhuriyeti'nin kuruluş yıl dönümü. 16 Aralık 1991 yılında yani tam 22 yıl önce Kazakistan eski Sovyetler Birliği'nden ayrılıp kendi cumhuriyetini ilan etmiştir. Bu önemli e, günün, günlerinde Kazak öğrencilerimizin eşliğinde e, Kazakistanlı Cumhuriyeti'ni tanıyacağız ve Kazakistanlı öğrencilerimizi sizlere tanıtacağız. Welcome. Um, thank you for being here, first of all. And second of all, I would like to say that uh, whatever program that we will do today, it will be like a spontaneous translation. And therefore, we will have the opportunity to introduce you to Cyprus, Northern Cyprus, and uh, and hopefully enjoy ourselves in today's program. Welcome once again. Programımızda her zaman olduğu gibi e, sevgili öğrencilerimize İngilizce sorular sorulacak ve hemen anında sizlere Türkçe ile takdim edeceğiz. Now, first of all, let's uh, introduce uh, you to our. Um, Yes. Uh, hello. Thank you, first of all, for having us here. We are very thankful for giving us an opportunity to celebrate our Independence Day here, not uh, in the burden of our co country in North Cyprus. Uh, my name is Nasranem Chaushova. I am coming from Kazakhstan, and currently I'm studying on my final year in Health Management Department. Uh, I am 33 years old, and I'm coming from Tara City. Now I will pass to my friend. Okay. Before you continue, let's translate in this into Turkish. Arkadaşımız e, Naz Hanım Çavuşeva, kendisi e, sağlık yönetiminde üçüncü, e, dördüncü sınıfında eğitim görmektedir. E, kendisi burada olmaktan mutluluk duymaktadır. E, ve kendisi şehrin adını da söylemiş. Can I have the name of the city? Taras şehrinden kendisi buraya Kıbrıs e, Lefke'de eğitim görmektedir, gelmiştir. Ayda? Um, hello, thank you for inviting. I'm very happy to be here. My name is Aida Abdualiva. I'm studying, um, I'm doing my third year mm -hmm. and um, I'm studying international relations. I'm from Almaty City, from Kazakhstan. Okay. Uh, Ayda kızımız da Uluslararası İlişkiler Bölümünde eğitim görmektedir. Almaty şehrinden buraya gelmiştir. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, thank you so much for inviting us. We are very happy to be here. Um, my name is Miriert Izbasarova. I'm from. I'm also from Kazakhstan, and I'm from Almaty city. Uh, but I was born in Taraz. Uh, okay. So this is my second year in this university. Thank you. Okay. Miriert kızımız da e, Almaty city'den geliyor, ama esasında Teras'ta doğum e, doğmuş. Ondan sonra Almaty'ye taşınmış. And the program. Your program was. I'm sorry again. My department is finance and banking. F banking and finance. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies. And now, why don't we move on to introducing the Independence Day of Kazakhstan. If I raise a, a question like this to you, what does the independence of Kazakhstan mean to you? Uh, just in a couple of words, maybe in a couple of sentences, how would you describe it? Naz, shall we start with you? Uh, first of all, um, Kazakhstan was the last country which uh, got uh, its independence from Soviet Union. As you know that we have been together for 70 years mm -hmm. uh, with Russian Federation, I, and I cannot say that it was for the worst, it was maybe for the best. Mm -hmm. But uh, to get uh, own independence, it always means that uh, the population can get its own freedom of speech, mm -hmm. can have, uh, can, can 
uh, continue its traditions mm -hmm. because with Soviet Union we could not uh, leave our traditions, we could not uh, leave our religion, we could not uh, say who we are, we, mm -hmm. could, we could say that we are just from uh, Soviet Union, right. we could not say that we are Kazakhs, that we, have, uh, we are Muslims, for example, because the majority are Muslim. Mm -hmm. We didn't have uh, freedom of speech as much as we could have. Mm -hmm. as we have now. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, the independence which we gained in mm -hmm. 1991, it, it is for the best and uh, facts for our president, uh, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, who is really uh, trying a lot for us. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, he made our country to be well known now, even though we are just uh, on our 22nd year of independence. Mm -hmm. So I'm, ha I'm very happy to be from Kazakhstan. I'm, I'm very proud of my country. Even though I was born in 90, when, you know, Soviet Union, it was very hard times. Mm -hmm. uh, as we say, you know, we have this saying, I was born in USSR, but now I'm from Kazakhstan, yes. Very well. If girls wants to add something. Yes, please, go ahead. I think Masan has already explained very well everything, mm -hmm. most of it of uh, which concerns our country. But um, what I want to add is I'm also proud to be from Kazakhstan. And um, like what I can add is that we have right now, um, you know, two kind of schools, like uh, Russian and Kazakh. Mm -hmm. But uh, for example, during the USSR, it was only like a Russian school. Mm -hmm. And we would not e even, we were not able to exercise our own language only at homes we could speak. Right. That's why we know it. Right. Yeah. Very well. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't know anything how was it was in USSR. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> no, really, <laughs> because, <very> yes, <laughs> because I have not lived at, at that time. And uh, I can say just that I was born in 1992 and mm -hmm. uh, I'm I really appreciate what our president I now is doing for us and mm -hmm. for Kazakhstan. That's all. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, I would like to translate your special words into Turkish now. Uh, sevgili seyircilerimiz, e, kızlarımız bizimle çok güzel e, duygularını paylaştılar. En önemlisi Kazakistan e, eski Sovyetler Birliği'nden ayrılıp da kendi cumhuriyetini ilan eden son ülke olmuştur. E, Naz kızımız bahsetti dedi ki eski Sovyetler Birliği bize... Hep yanlış mı yaptı? Hayır. Eski Sovyetlerle birlikte çok şeyler öğrenildi, çok şey e, development ve gelişmeler olmuştur. Ama insanın kendi ülkesinde yaşaması, kendi bağımsızlığı, kendi özgürlüğü, kendi özgürlük iradesini öne sürmesi çok önemli olduğunu ifade etmiştir. E, ve buradan Cumhurbaşkanlarını Sul Nur Sultan Azerbaycan'a teşekkür etmiştir. Kazakistan çünkü sürekli büyüyen bir ülke olduğunu ifade etmişlerdir. Diğer arkadaşlarımız da şunu ifade etmişler. Ee, eskiden e, Kazakistan'da kendi kültür, örf, din adetlerini e, dışarıda paylaşamıyorlardı. Sadece evlerin kapalı kapılar ardında yapılıyordu tüm bunlar. Ön, en önemlisi lisan, en önemlisi din gibi. Ve işte bağımsızlık demek e, onlara bu tarz özgürlüklerini e, öncelikle getirmiştir. Kendi dinlerini yaşayabiliyorlar, kendi e, dillerini konuşabiliyorlar ve kendilerini e, inanarak büyümeye çalışıyorlar. Ve en önemli unsur da bu bence. Thank you very much ladies. Now let's move on to um, talk about <coughs> what you think about Cyprus. Now I know that there's a huge difference. I mean I've been to Kazakhstan a few times and I know it's very cold on your end of the world. And quite contrary, uh, it is very hot here in northern Cyprus. But besides the climate, um, do you like being here? Um, and what are the, the special qualities that you would say that Cyprus carries? Uh, I have been here like oh, it's my f uh, fifth year here because I came here just uh, for one year. To mm -hmm. be honest, I was planning after graduating from my college, I was studying in medical college. I was planning just to come here and improve my uh, language skills and then go back to Kazakhstan and continue my studies there. But uh, later when I came here, uh, I really loved first of all the weather because uh, it's mostly warm, just maybe raining, which is, which is normal. Uh, I like the culture, I like people, they are very uh, 
friendly, hospitable, uh, they're very open. Uh, I like uh, the education also because uh, here we can learn extra languages mm -hmm. which will be helpful for us in our future. Mm -hmm. uh, in general, I really love Cyprus. <laughs> Cy uh, Cypriot people, they're very cool. Mm, I love the weather, people, uh, culture, everything in general. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what I want to note is that, first of all, I really loved the oranges here. <laughs> yeah, because in my country, they don't grow. We have only apples and like things like this. Um, it's my third, uh, second year, actually, because I transferred mm -hmm. from other university. But I really loved, I agree with Nas Khanum about people, about mm -hmm. friendliness. And what I want to note about this particular university, especially about the dormitory, because I stay in the dorm, they're very clean. The rooms they provide, for example, other universities, they, prov they provide the living with four people or five girls, for example. Mm -hmm. But we have like two, mm -hmm. only like two girls and mm -hmm. stuff. So, um, yeah, and about this university also, I like it. We'll I like go on it. to the university yes. in a few minutes, okay? okay? <laughs> okay <so. laughs> Let's just talk about Cyprus now. Thank you very much, Aida, for sharing your feelings. Thank you. Um, when I just came and we got out from our bus, uh, I felt myself like in paradise, you know, because everything is green. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, everything is green and uh, everywhere were, uh, were flowers, a lot of flowers. I very love th this place. But uh, in the end of uh, first semester, I felt myself very boring and uh, I wanted to ca go to my country, to Kazakhstan again. And uh, um, I was feeling myself very, very bad. Mm -hmm. But now I can honestly say that I really love this place because mm -hmm. it's quiet and the quietness it's not bad <laughs> <laughs> actually <laughs> yeah yes. also um, about culture and uh, about people I really like Cypriot guys you know they are very friendly they are very cool and uh, uh, they are very helpful yes very and uh, nice. also education education is really is really good because you can also um, study also uh, extra languages mm -hmm. you know and uh, studying abroad is every time good mm -hmm. uh, doesn't matter where mm -hmm. and uh, when studying abroad is every time good because you can know also uh, edu uh, extra educations right yes okay extra. thank you very much Um, <coughs> sayın seyircilerimiz, arkadaşlarımızın tekrar söylediklerini sizlerle de paylaşmak istiyorum. Ee, en önemlisi Kıbrıs'ın e, mevsiminden, sıcaklığından bahsettik. E, çünkü biliyorsunuz Kazakistan çok soğuk bir ülke. E, ve bunların arasındaki farkı sordum. Yani nasıl Kazakistan eksi 30'lardayken e, Kıbrıs? sıfırın altına düşmüyor dedim. Nasıl buluyorsunuz Kıbrıs'ta yaşamayı? Ve genel olarak ne mutlu bize ki kızlarımız çok pozitif bir karşılık verdiler. En önemlisi e, havanın sıcaklığın yanı sıra insanların sıcaklığı, insanlar misafirperverliği, insanların dürüst ve açık olmasından bahsettiler. Ayda kızımız bölgemizin portakalından bahsetti. Bu da çok önemli bir olay. E, Kazakistan'da çünkü portakal yetişmiyor dedi. Elma yetiştiriyoruz biz dedi ama portakal dalından koparıp yemek bambaşka bir olay olduğunu söyledi. Ee, diğer kızımız da şeyden bahsetti. Bu da çok önemli bir olay. Ee, otobüsten indiğim zaman bir bakmışım her taraf yemyeşil. Çok güzel. Her taraf çiçek dolu demiş. Bu da çok güzel bir unsur. Ee, ama en önemlisi dedi insanların sıcaklığı, sevecenliği. Ee, dönemin sonuna doğru kendimi sıkıntı içinde hissettim. Evini özlemiştir ve sessizlikten biraz bunalmış gibi olduğunu ifade etti. Ama tatile gittiği zaman evine bu sessizliği de özlediğini de e, ifade etmeden de geçemedi. Yani açıkçası sayın seyirciler Kıbrıs'ın güzelliği, Kıbrıs'ın sessizliği, Kıbrıs'ın sakinliği gerçekten öğrencilerimizi mutlu ettiklerini birebir sizler de görüyorsunuz. Thank you very much. And uh, finally, I would like to um, move on to your lifestyle here at the university. So let's talk about a little bit um, what you think about, you know, your academics, what you think about your surrounding, um, and maybe share a few things of what your daily life is with us, just so our audience can, and can hear and see as well. Okay, so um, apart from academics, um, I want to add for the social um, activities. Mm -hmm. Um, I would like to thank the international office because mm -hmm. in most of the universities uh, they don't provide students uh, the international office. 
but uh, for international students there are different uh, there's international club mm -hmm. yes uh, through which we can you know make our own activities you know so that not to feel bored mm -hmm. that's the first thing academics um, also apart from all our studies uh, mm -hmm. in my faculty for example um, I can ex uh, learn um, extra language such as Turkish in mm -hmm. here because most of the students they do speak it here and mm -hmm. like so that's good yeah. okay moving on shall we <coughs> Uh, about generally our university, uh, I want to add that uh, it's uh, quite new. It's, it was founded in the 90s and uh, I'm studying health management. I am, I am very proud of my faculty because it, it's uh, growing very fast. Mm -hmm. Once I came, it was just health management. Now we have uh, nutrition, dietetics, uh, physiotherapy, mm -hmm. uh, psychology and etc. Uh, which is very good and positive to know about it. Also, uh, I want to note that uh, in our university particularly, in uh, Cyprus among other universities why I really like our university because it's the campus is very friendly and warm uh, the person who wants to socialize he has really a, a great opportunities to do that mm -hmm. he can open and create his own club mm -hmm. which we are doing now with Mika she's mm -hmm. uh, going to open two mm -hmm. new clubs mm -hmm. and it's very good it's very great to know that uh, you have freedom of speech seriously in practice not just in somewhere written it right yeah Yes. So uh, speaking about clubs, you can open your own club. You will never, and you can open it. It does not depend on your faculty. You can open it on, of o your own interest. Your own interest. Yes, which is very mm -hmm. your good. Your quality traits. And of mm -hmm. course, it mm -hmm. will help you to improve yourself, like uh, your managerial skills, mm -hmm. uh, talking to people, making bridges, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's very important because graduating from the university, it does not mean just only to have a diploma. You have to have some skills to be. Absolutely. Yes, to be. Hired somewhere, so to study abroad, I really, I, I hope so that someone in Kazakhstan will watch this video and he will come here <laughs> and study because uh, it's a great opportunity to first of all improve your language skills, which we have spoken about, learn extra languages, uh, to start being uh, to socialize, to mm -hmm. be uh, more outgoing. Mm -hmm. uh, our campus uh, helps us to. Uh, have our own activities to travel also uh, uh, as Aida mentioned uh, our international office is very helpful in anything Al also Dean of Students they are trying to help us organize and not left neglected some uh, very um, special days of our countries mm -hmm. which is very very ap we appreciate a lot seriously mm -hmm. because uh, sometimes uh, as we were joking uh, among ourselves that in Kazakhstan we don't celebrate that much <laughs> on our independence day all day was for us you know we could have our stand outside we yes. could we uh, uh, made a flash mob if you have uh, watched it yes. right then we had our program our after party and then we had our cinema night what else do you want I mean <laughs> Uh, all the possibilities, uh, anything you can imagine, you can actually do if you have really willingness. And if uh, to speak about academics, uh, I want to uh, note that our teachers, they are very uh, professional, successful. They are always open to help. They are mm -hmm. always helpful. Uh, they are they are actually more interested in our success than us. They are always motivating. They are mm -hmm. always giving extra hours. Uh, especially on my faculty, even my dean, she's always trying to help me as much as she can with internships, right. because other universities, they do not provide such mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. extra uh, services, right? Mm -hmm, so they may not. Mm -hmm. Yes, they may not, but uh, they really try for us, mm -hmm. which I'm very, very mm -hmm. thankful for. This okay. is what I can say. Thank you. And Mika? Let's have a few words from you as well. Thank you. That's okay. Students who I meet uh, every time says, oh, Cyprus is boring. There is nothing to do and uh, something like that. And you know what I say? I every time say, okay, if you are bored, go and do. Do something. Go international office and they will do everything for you. You. Uh, for example, we, we are opening now two clubs, as mm -hmm. Noskanum said, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very... You know, I, I'm really happy to do what I like. Mm -hmm. I love teaching and uh, I love fashion, I love style, and we are opening two clubs. It's one of uh, what about fashion and one Very of uh, teaching good. Russian courses. And yes. this is actually a perfect opportunity, a perfect platform to introduce <laughs> yes. your two and clubs. That's very good. Yes, and uh, also I really love uh, this university, especially international office for independence of students. If you want to do anything, yes, if you want to do something for us, for 
for ourselves. You every time help for us. I want to do thank you for you so so oh, much. It's my pleasure. <laughs> always, always my pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Also about academic um, in a few words. This place is the best place for studying. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> really, well, that's nothing. Good yes, and no thing. one can disturb you. You right. know, honestly, I've never had GPA like 3.9. <laughs> really, <laughs> oh, very good. That means that you don't have too many distractions. That's good. That's good. That's a positive thing. That's all. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much, ladies. Uh, Science seyircilerimiz, uh, ben de çok mutlu oluyorum böyle uh, geri dönüşümler aldığımız zaman öğrencilerimizden. Çünkü bu bizim önemli, ya yani bizim için çok önemli, çok da gurur verici. Kızlarımız gayet açık ve net bir şekilde e, Lefke Avrupa Üniversitesi'nden memnuniyet getirdiler, memnunluk getirdiler. Gerek akademik dalında, gerek sosyal dalında, gerek kültür dalında. Ee, en başta Naz kızımız bizlere işte akademik dekanlarından tutunuz, bölümlerinden tutunuz çok mutlu olduğunu ve e, bölümünde eğitim görmekten gurur duyduğunu e, ifade etmiştir. Sürekli olarak dekanı kendisiyle birebir e, ilgilendiğini, kendisine işte e, şey yapmak için, e, staj yapabilmesi için çeşitli alanlarda sürekli araştırma yaptığını ifade etmiştir. İşte Lefke böyle bir yerdir. Yani çaldığınız kapı hiçbir zaman size kapatılır. Kapanmaz. Her zaman için size ortam yaratır, her zaman sizi e, o aile sıcaklığını verir. Gerek akademik yönden, gerek idari yönden. E, i̇kinci kızımız Ayda e, ve şeyden bahsetti. Kendisi e, International Student Club'dan bahsetti. Çünkü birebir kendisi bu sene yönetimindedir. E, kendi işlerimizi kendimiz görüyoruz dedi. Yani ne mutlu bize ki kendi farklı kültürlerimizi yaşayabiliyoruz. Kendi etkinliklerimizi yaratabiliyoruz. Bunlara çok güzel e, önem verdiklerini söylediler. E, tekrar Naz'ın bahsettiğini sizlere aktarmak istiyorum. E, biz bile kendi ülkemizde Cumhuriyet Bayramımızı Cumhuriyet Bayramımızı bu kadar içtenlikle kutlamadık dedi. Ne mutlu bize ki tam bir gün boyunca hep bizim için çalışıldı. E, dans gösterisi yapıldı. Ondan sonra sunumlar yapıldı, yemekler takdim edildi, sinemalar gösterildi ve bugün tamamıyla bize ayrıldı. Ne mutlu bize ki e, hem hocalarımız hem e, idari arkadaşlarımız bize bu şekilde yardımcı, et, e, yardımcı oldular ve bu güzel günü bizimle paylaştılar dediler. E, Mika kızımız da şöyle bahsetti. E, sıkılan arkadaşlarıma hep bunu söylüyorum. Sıkıldım diyorlarsa, sıkıldıysan kalk bir şeyler yap. Kendi ortamını kendin yarat, kendi kulübünü kendin kur, kendi aktivitelerini kendin yarat diyorum arkadaşlarıma. Çünkü gerçekten böyle. Kızlarımız çok yakın bir tarihte iki farklı kulüp daha kurmak üzeredirler. Biri Rus eğitimi, dili eğitimi veren bir kulüp kuruyorlar. İkincisi de Fashion Design. E, fashion üzerine bir kulüp kuruyorlar. Çünkü Mika kızımız kendisi aynı zamanda da e, bir manken olduğunu biliyorum. You're a model, yes, correct. E, o yüzden kendi özelliklerini, kendi bildiklerini e, diğer öğrenci arkadaşlarıyla da paylaşmak istiyorlar ve bunu mutlulukla yapıyorlar. Ve en önemlisi Lefke Avrupa Üniversitesi'nin tam bir eğitim yuvası olduğunu, hayatımda 3 noktanın üzerinde CGP olduğunu hatırlamıyorum diyor kız ama burada etkileyecek bir şey yok. Kendimizi tam, tamamıyla akademiklerimize ve çevremizdeki aktivitelere adamış bulunmaktayız ve bunları duymak bizim için gerçekten çok mutlu edici, çok gurur verici sayın seyirciler. Yes ladies, thank you very much for sharing this day with us um, and I'm sure that with your hard work and your efforts you are going to be very successful in your future, no matter where you go, no matter what you do in your life. And I am also very proud and happy to say that you will be one of the European University of Lefkez graduates, because no matter where you go, you will carry that for the rest of your life. Yes? Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you for sharing this day with us. Sayın seyircilerimiz, kendilerine çok teşekkür ettim. Çok mutlu olduğumu ifade ettim tekrardan çünkü Eminim ki bu kızlar ve bu kızlar gibi birçok öğrencimiz dünyanın neresine giderlerse gitsinler çok başarılı olacaklarına inandığımı söyledim. Ve ne mutlu bize ki e, birlikte Lefke Avrupa Üniversitesi'nin diplomasını taşıyarak bu başarıyı elde edecekler.
Evet sayın seyirciler, e, yine güzel bir programımızın sonuna gelmiş bulunmaktayız. Tekrar bizimle birlikte e, olduğunuz için sizlere, için sizlere teşekkür ederiz ve nice programlar için e, hazır olun diyoruz. Teşekkürlerle ve programımızın devamı ile e, Kazakistan e, Cumhuriyet Bayramı'nın kutlamalarında bazı görüntülerle sizleri baş başa bırakıyoruz. Teşekkürler, iyi günler.
traditional wedding day called Betasha, which literally means the opening of the face. A bride has to give salam to all the relatives of the groom. Only his relatives are here to meet their bride. The war of Kazakhstan with the jungle. 